if cosecant theta plus cot theta equals to 1 by 3, find cos theta and determine the quadrant in which theta lies. Cosecant theta plus cot theta is given as 1 by 3. We need to find out cos theta and also determine the quadrant in which theta lies. So, what is the identity we have related to cosecant and cot? We have cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equals to 1. That means we know that cosecant theta plus cot theta into cosecant theta minus cot theta equals to 1. because we can write down a square minus b square as a plus b into a minus b equals to 1. Now, applying that logic, since we know that cosecant theta plus cot theta equals to 1 by 3, now cosecant theta minus cot theta should be reciprocal of that so that they will multiply to 1. So, cosecant theta minus cot theta is reciprocal of 1 by 3 that is 3 so that when you multiply them you will get 1. Now let us add this and see what happens. When we add them cot theta will cancel we have 2 cosec theta equals to 3 plus 1 by 3 that is 10 by 3 that will give us cosec theta equals to 5 by 3. So let us write down here cosecant theta equals to 5 by 3. Now, let us go and substitute in any one of the equations. The first equation let us substitute. We will have cosecant theta plus cot theta equals to 1 by 3, but we know cosecant theta is 5 by 3. 5 by 3 plus cot theta equals to 1 by 3 or cot theta equals to minus 4 by 3. So, let us write down that cot theta equals to minus 4 by 3. Now, first we need to find out cos theta. How we can get cos theta from cosecant theta and cot theta? We will think about it. Also, we have to find out the quadrant in which theta lies. Now, we need to find out cos theta. So, let us see what is cos theta. For that, we know that sin theta by cos theta equals to tan theta or can we say that cos theta equals to sin theta by tan theta. We can also write down this as cot theta by cosec theta because 1 by sin theta is cosecant theta and 1 by tan theta is cot theta. But we know what is cot theta minus 4 by 3 and what is cosecant theta 5 by 3. That means we got cos theta equals to minus 4 by 5. What will be the quadrant in which cosecant is positive that means sin is positive and cos is negative. So, let us go to the all four quadrants. In the first quadrant all the trigonometric ratios are positive. In the second one, only sin and cosecant. In the third one, tangent and cotangent. And in the last one, we have cos and secant. So, to remember them, all silver teacups, A, S, T, C. Now, where sin is positive and cos is negative, that is nothing but second quadrant. In second quadrant, sin is positive and cos is negative. So, therefore, theta lies in second quadrant because we have sin positive cosecant theta is 5 by 3 that means sin theta is 3 by 5. So, we have a triangle in which sin theta is 3 by 5 cos theta is minus 4 by 5. So, we can see that sin is positive cos is negative it will be in second quadrant. Let us have a recap of this problem for the 11th grade trigonometry. 
If cosecant theta plus cot theta equals to 1 by 3, find cos theta and determine the quadrant in which theta lies. Whenever we have been given a problem like this with secant theta plus tan theta or cosecant theta plus cot theta, we can leverage the identity that cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is 1 or secant square theta minus tan square theta is 1. If cosecant theta plus cot theta is 1 by 3, then cosecant theta minus cot theta is 3. When you add them and simplify, we get cosecant theta 5 by 3, that means sin theta is 3 by 5. Now substitute and try to find out the cot theta value, you get negative value. From that we can find out what is cos theta. Cos theta is cot theta by cosecant theta, which is minus 4 by 5. Cos is negative, sin is positive, that happens only in the second quadrant. Therefore, theta lies in second quadrant.